In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install world edit for single player Minecraft using Forge. So we're going to be installing Minecraft Forge 1.14.4 and also installing the world edit mod. Now if you're new to the channel at all we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one so make sure to hit the subscribe button. First thing we need to do anyway guys is to actually install Forge. So that's going to be the first link that's going to be in the description to so go and grab that first link. That'll take you to the main Forge page and also to the 1.14.4 version. What we're going to be clicking on is the installer. First thing that will come up, especially if you're using Chrome, you'll say that this type of file can harm your computer. Don't worry about it too much. It's just because it is an installer, it is going to make a couple little changes. Uh, it's just the way that Forge works, but it doesn't do anything nasty at all. So always use the kind of like official links like minecraftforge.net, for example. So use the ones in the description. Just go on to keep on that one. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new uh, kind of folder on my desktop uh, it's just to keep it nice and tidy so you have that there and open that one up and I'm just gonna drag that forge installation into that folder so there we go so we've now got that in its own little folder here what you should be able to do is just double click on it like this and it should come up with the mod system installer if you do get an error you will either get like um, a flashy up box which then disappears which um, I should be able to show you guys just click on this and something like that um, or you actually get like a Java error or you get something else um, there will be a link and the card in the top which will actually take you to my shader 1.14.4 video which shows you how to basically reinstall or repair Java and also how to run something called Jarfix uh, and also how to do a command line run of Java which seems to fix all of the common issues so there'll be a card for that and it'll also be in the description if you do come across that. If you don't and you're like most people, which is always good, then you'll get something like this. Now for us we just want to install it as a client, we don't want the installer, uh, sorry the server. <laughs> Yeah, so we, we do want the installer. We only want the client, we don't want a server. Um, client is just going to be your local install, so for our case we're just doing single player. Uh, if you were running your own Forge server, then this is how you would actually install it on top of a normal or existing uh, normal Minecraft server to, to effectively upgrade it. But you can usually get um, other kind of like clients to actually do that for you. But for us, just go on to install client. Make sure that you are, of course, going to the normal Minecraft path, which my one is. So I'm just going to do OK. That's going to let itself, you know, run through this. So let it do it. Let it let it do its thing, and um, I'll catch you guys after it's done the full install. And there we go, just like that. So for me, successfully installed client uh, profile Forge for version 1.14.4 Forge, uh, 28.0.55. So those are the little versions of Forge. It might be a little bit different in your Forge version uh, as it upgrades. So you know that's the way that it does. You know, it just happens. Um, but then you should be able to say OK. If not, you should get a, should get an error and you should be able to kind of like look up that error. Uh, it might be something like you haven't run Minecraft 1.14.4 at least once as a vanilla kind of build for it to then attach to. OK, so just click OK. That's it from the Forge side. So what we do is we go on to the Minecraft launcher. And this is just the default launcher that we've got here. There we go, it's up there. Uh, and actually I had mine open at the same time as when I was doing it. So mine hasn't appeared, so I'm just going to close this and then reopen that and it always for me appears on the other screen and what you'll notice is in this drop down uh, the forge version has actually appeared so this common kind of issue which um, always kind of comes up is people have the installer open at the, or the launcher open at the same time as installing uh, so you just need to close it and reopen it so if you go into here we're going to go into edit uh, I'm just going to call mine a better name so I like to go with the version first then if it's modded it'll have like forge on the end of it and the version I'm using is uh, yeah the release 1.40.4 forge version. I'm also going to go on to more options because for me uh, 2 gigs of RAM allocated to Minecraft isn't enough. I, I like to put like you know, 6 or 8 something like that and just click save and then we're just going to click on play um, like this. Let it load up so that it does all of its different things. Um, I always, I, I think, I'm pretty sure you have to actually do this. I don't know if it's changed over the years but always used to have to run Forge at least once with no mods let it kind of do its thing, make sure it can run all properly. You you then at least know that it's been installed properly and it's not a mod that's causing a crash. But if you do get a crash at all, uh, the place that you actually need to go into uh, is find your local Minecraft installation folder. And then what you get is this crash reports folder. And this will be filled with uh, hopefully not that many crashes. I've had quite a few, apparently loads in 2014. Uh, but you should have then a crash uh, kind of like file which you can then have a look through. Uh, but anyway, for us it's all loaded up absolutely fine and happy. If we go on to mods, what we'll get is we've just got Forge and we got Minecraft because we haven't actually put anything in the mods folder. 
Um, I always recommend going to open mods folder from here, just make sure you always put it in the right place. Mine's completely empty, if you've had Forge before on your default install, uh, then you should have, or you probably have mods in there already. What I like to do is do an old mods folder or something like that where I move them in and out. Uh, but for us, what we're going to do is we're going to install a mod. So we don't actually need this open, it will need to rerun anyway, but we've run it at least once, so do a quick game like that. And we can also close this down here. So if we go onto the second link, it's going to be World Edit. So here we go, get onto that second link and you're going to be onto the uh, kind of like file downloads for World Edit. With any more like Forge uh, mods, I do recommend using cur curseforge.com. Uh, to actually get them all. So the one that we actually want is not for Fabric, which is the latest one apparently, uh, it's the one for Forge 1.14.4. So if we just click on download here, and then that should be starting in three seconds or so. It's not too bad really, is it, at all. So there we go, let that go do its thing. And again, it's a .jar file, so you do keep. And then this time, once that's all kind of like nice and finished, we're going to drag that. Is it finished yet? Nope. Apparently it's not. Let me just go into show in folder. There you go. I'm going to drag it from here instead. So drag it in there and shove it into the mods folder. And that's it. That's how you install a mod. No unzipping, no nothing like that. It should just be a .jar file. If it downloads as something else, which I know some of them have, um, then it can be due to the browser that you're using, like Safari or Internet Explorer. It doesn't seem to like uh, downloading .jar files for some reason. It's very, very strange. But that's it. You've got a mod in there. You've got World Edit in there now. So if we go into our launcher again, do is then start this up. So start up your Forge version, and this time it should start to load in uh, the World Edit mod. And there we go. So now that it's all kind of like started up properly, I've now got three mods in the side here. So if I go on mods, I can now see World Edit. So I can see that it's successfully been installed. It's successfully running. And again, make sure that it is in that mods folder uh, and use that button because that will save you a lot of time having to kind of like faff around. So let's go into just a world that we've got, and let's see it actually working in action. So let the world load up, there we go. So here we have this, so if we go dash dash wand, there we go, we've got the wooden axe. So now what we should be able to do, at least in creative mode, is do something like set one or you know, set stone two. That's not two, okay, stone. There we go, something like that. There's different ways you can do things. So there we go, that's not too bad at all. Um, so we could also do other things as well with World Edit. There's lots and lots of different commands, and if you guys are interested, uh, I can always do a video on it. So there you go, there's my stone spheres, so I can now make a nice little rock formation or something like that in here. But nice and easy, super duper simple. Um, if you guys do have any issues at all, make sure to post them in the comments section, I'll try and help you out as much as I can. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. You've now got World Edit for or with Forge uh, for Minecraft 1.14.4. Nice and easy uh, and nice and simple, but uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.